Hi, this is Dr. Evan Osar with the Institute for Integrative Health and Fitness Education, which is now Integrated Movement Institute, IMI. Welcome to this edition of Facebook Live. Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for being part of our community. I want to share a quick story with you. So I was down here, I should say I'm, I am down here in Houston, Texas, working on the second edition of Corrective Exercise Solutions for Common Hip and Shoulder Dysfunction. Now, I was with my colleague and friend, Jackie Bachmeyer, of Evolution Fitness and Wealth Wellness. She specializes in training clients over the age of 50. She's currently part of our Integrated Movement Specialist Certification Program, Team 16. So she hired me to do some consultations with her clients. Now, one of the clients that we just evaluated last Tuesday, Jay. Jay is 78 years of age, and just a just a very joyful and thankful individual. He's really, he's like, thank you so much for doing this evaluation, for your time, for your expertise. And one of the things that Jay wanted to work on was his breathing, because he had seen Jackie and I do a presentation for her clients, and he's like, I want to learn more about this breathing and how this breathing can potentially help me. And one of the things that Jay related to us is, he takes an evening walk with his wife, Ellen, who's also a client of Evolution Fitness and Wellness. And each night, by the time they get back from their walk, which is about, I'm not sure exactly how long, just say it's 15, 20 minutes of walking, he's like, I just can't wait to get back home and sit down because my back hurts so much or so uncomfortable for me to do that walk. But, he, but they like doing this walk every single evening, and he does it. He's consistent with it. So we did our evaluation, so we took him through the Integrated Movement Specialist Assessment Process. And it's really the, what we're looking for in our assessments, and what you should be looking for in your assessments, is the suboptimal strategies that are causing your client to experience maybe chronic tightness or discomfort, or the reasons why they just can't perform at the level they once did. Like Jay used to be able to walk a long time and not have any low back issues, whereas now it's a 15 to 20 minute walk and he starts feeling that tightness and discomfort. So one of the things that we identified, which Jackie identified was, he's just not breathing into his right side very well. In fact, his right side shoulder was lower. One of the things that we see with clients with a lower shoulder and oftentimes shoulder issues is they're not breathing that well into that side of their rib cage. So what we did with Jay, one of the most specific things we did with Jay was really just getting breathing into that right side. And then we took him through a couple of patterns and focused him on breathing into his right side. Then when we did the reassessment, I really wish we had recorded this, maybe we did, I hope we did, because what Jay said was, huh, it feels like it's so much easier to lift my arms. And when he stood on one leg, he had pretty decent balance before the assessments. He's like, it just feels easier to stand on one leg. Now that's great in, in a clinical setting or in this assessment setting, but what I really want to see is I said to Jay, I'm like Jay, when you do your walk tonight, I want you to focus on breathing into that right side. So every once in a while, every few minutes, every five minutes, so three times during his walk, I want you to feel like you're breathing specifically into that right side where it's more compromised for you. And then let me know later on, let us know, Jackie and I know later on, how you felt. So Jay, we got an email from Jay yesterday, and Jay's like, oh my goodness, I used that breathing during my walk, and even though I still have a, had a little bit of back discomfort, I didn't have that same sensation of needing to sit down after my walk, and I was able to get through the 15 to 20 minute walk with very minimal issues. I definitely see the difference in using this breathing. I'm going to keep working on it. And that's the kind of changes you can create in your clients. Again, Jay, 78 years of age. Again, very typical posture and movement strategy of our older clients. The only difference was, or is I should say, unlike much of our older population, he actually is working on the things that we need, he needs to work on to improve his posture and his movement and overall the function in everyday life. And I love that story. I love getting that email from Jay because it really illustrates the, the value of working on breathing. It also illustrates the value of having, of having a systematic process that you take your clients through. 
the assessment to identify those suboptimal habits, the principles, alignment, breathing, and control, the three principles of the integrated movement system that help set up and create and develop more optimal posture and movement habits that you then take into the best practices. Best practices are those things that you do that are best in the industry. What are the best people doing to help improve performance on every level? Especially when we're talking about the older clients, we don't wanna just train them like athletes unless they are athletes and have earned the right to train like an athlete, but giving them those, providing them those safe and effective strategies that will help them better improve posture, movement, and ultimately performance. So I hope you enjoyed that story. I hope it made sense of the things that we did. And we're going to do a free webinar next Thursday. So next Thursday, I believe is May 6th at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to take you through exactly what we did with Jay. We're going to demonstrate some of the functional anatomy of the diaphragm and why understanding the anatomy helps you better educate yourself so you can better educate your clients. We'll show you the assessments and strategies we used with Jay, so that way you can apply this information to yourself and then also then relate it to your clients. And then finally, we'll show you how to integrate this into some fundamental movement patterns so that way you integrate it. Because it's not just enough to teach your clients how to breathe right then and there. You also need to incorporate it into functional activities like walking so your clients have a better strategy for breathing when they're walking so that way, just like Jay, they can improve how they walk, how they Feel, and that's ultimately how we, the hidden secret to balance. Breathing is that secret because balance, I should say breathing, creates pressure regulation within the cylinder, that thoracopelvic cylinder that you've heard us talk so much about, and that cylinder is what keeps us upright. Breathing helps regulate pressure so that when we get into single leg stance, we have the ability to elongate and suspend and maintain this elongation and suspension, and then ultimately your muscles then help your myofascial system, I should say. So these muscles that are attached into the fascial change or slings of the body, they help propel us forward. When our clients are not breathing well, they don't balance well, because now as they start to move onto single leg, they have to start to overuse muscles to stabilize themselves. And that's why if you look at your, a lot of your older clients, when they get onto single leg stance, they start to come down, they compress down, they contract down, they're not able to suspend. So breathing is the hidden secret to balance. And again, all the four clients that we evaluated, all four of them noticed a difference in their balance after just breathing. That's the value of breathing. That's a hidden secret. And again, people are like, oh, I breathe all day long. I'm like, well, you'll walk your entire life too. You walk every single day. You walk your entire life. How much better is your clients walking as they get older? It doesn't get better unless you train it to get better, right? If you want your clients or your older clients walking to get better, you have to train them to get their walking better. It doesn't magically happen, and you see that slow, stoop walking posture of, our, of many of our older clients. So breathing is the same way. You breathe to stay alive. It doesn't mean breathing is optimal and or efficient. So if you want your breathing to be optimal and efficient, you have to train it to be that way. So we'll share with you the best practice strategies for optimizing breathing to optimize balance and optimize performance. We'll see you next Thursday. Mary will put the link to that free webinar. You need to sign up to get access to that free webinar. And even if you can't make it to the live webinar, we'll send you the recording as soon as it's uploaded. So this is Dr. Evan Osar with the Integrated Movement Institute. Thanks so much for being part of our community. Thanks for all you do for your clients. Let's get out there and be the leaders our community our communities need, your older clients need, so that way you attract more individuals that need, want, and will pay you for your expertise. Make it a great day. We'll see you next Thursday on that free webinar, The Anatomy of Breathing to Improve Posture, Balance, and Performance. Take care.